Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to make a little video because this morning I woke up and I saw, um, you know, when I was scrolling Facebook um, about a lot of the posts about Ruth Bader Ginsburg and her passing. And a lot of people are very sad about it and just, you know, really heartbroken over it. And I understand um, she was quite an incredible, or is quite an incredible woman. Uh, the reason why I wanted to make this little video is that just to remind everyone to open up to the idea that when a person transitions and their physical body dies, that their spirit, their soul, the energy of them lives on forever. And that, you know, perhaps you believe in heaven, that she's in heaven, um, to not think of heaven or that other dimension as, you know, just like sometimes we think of it as so, so far away and so far from us and that we have no contact with any of those people that have gone to heaven and not until we get there when we ourselves die that we'll be able to communicate with them again. Um, what about the idea? Why would heaven be made that way? It's really just another dimension. It's not far away. It's actually right here where we are. You know, we usually can't see that dimension because we're in this other dimension. Um, <clears throat> but consider opening your mind up to the idea that Ruth Bader Ginsburg can help the world and our country and yourself just as much now as ever, perhaps even more. Um, and I encourage you to, if you were someone who was a fan of hers and who really looked up to her, um, <clears throat> call on her. You know, in the Wednesday night meditation, we've been studying archetypes. And I think of her being as just an, a perfect example of the archetype of leadership and determination and someone who really was willing to put all of herself 100% out there for what she believed was right, speaking her truth and using her voice for equality and justice. And uh, so if in your life, uh, in, in your following your purpose, if you feel like you need to have that power of her, just call on her and just say, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, help me with this. And allow yourself to feel her presence come in. And whether you embody it inside of your whole self and feel yourself embody the energy of her, or whether you feel kind of her coming up right next to you and giving you the strength and the power. and um, you know, even feel free to talk to her, you know, tell her what's going on with you, ask her for advice. Why do we think that we can't talk to someone who's in that heavenly dimension? Um, do we think that, you know, God would really make this heaven where they cut off communication? Like, okay, you know, the way I was taught when I grew up, we could talk to Jesus who's in heaven and God, but no one else who goes there. Like, it seems kind of strange when I think of it now that God would be like, no, you know, there's no, there's no cell phone service in heaven. You know, you're not allowed to talk to your loved ones anymore. Loved ones, you can't talk to those people on earth until they get here. People on earth, you can't talk to anyone in heaven until you get there. It just seems kind of strange, you know. So I've really let go of that old belief um, and feel like I can talk to, whether it's my grandma or uh, my aunt or whoever it might be who's in that other dimension or someone that we really look up to like perhaps <clears throat> like Ruth um, Ginsburg so um, I encourage you to have hope and faith that even though she's um, think of it as like you know when a person goes into retirement you know she's in retirement maybe from the physical job here but now she's you know a lot of times when people retire they do volunteer work or but they still have their passion. She still has the passion and love for what she believed was, was right and true. And she's gonna continue working with us and for us, for those causes. And um, so yes, just talk to her, call out to her. And I believe she will be there to help and inspire you. All right guys, have an awesome day, namaste.